Hello everyone and welcome back to the 14th episode of our Cricket 22 career mode guys And we're back again with another 50 over match this time against East Tamaki at Worry Park Possibly our first game at home actually as well Leo Leo has snuck into the lineup who might have been Tom Rahul Got dropped, actually. Interesting scenes there. Early in the season, Leo Leo on the cusp of the team. So it looks like he gets his go. First one this season. East Tamaki have called heads and they've won. Oh, no. Oh, no. We won it. I think they're called tails and we... I, I, look, I don't know. Anyway, we're electing to bat first on a grassy deck again. Okay. This should be interesting then. All right. Walking out to bat with an average of 50.76. Strike rate 61. We nearly bottled that last T20 match, has to be said. But we are here in our 50 over match. Now, which it feels like more like our element, as we're just going to get a cheeky block and run going. 142 after 9 overs, and it looks like Cone has gone for 24 of 41, bowled by Mech, caught by Ashish. Alright, we've got Patrick Habib, I think his name is. Pulled past square leg though, for 4. Not a great ball, has to be said. Oh, he's taking mine! Ooh. 50 up for Worry after 9.3. Batting with Mahana Ani, of course. Didn't realize it, but Ani's quite tall. Vai Tao. The leg spinner. Okay. No run. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. What was that? Did you see that? That was sick skill. Unbelievable skill. Let's go here. Look, he throws it. Look at this. He doesn't pick it up whatsoever. He's jogging. Is that off the back of the shoe? Look at that, he just kicks it up. He's like, well, okay, forget the fact that it also goes through his body, but anyway. He sees it and uh, gets it. Also, what's going on with his hair? It's like a blue sort of, it's blue in there. Interesting. Our goal this season is obviously to get the top run score in the whole competition. But we're going to have to do a lot of work to get there. Come on, give me that extra cover gap. That time, it's gone through. It could actually get to the boundary, unbelievably. Tap back is called, and again, that's great fielding, just for two more. Interesting line bowling wide outside off with three on the leg side. What a shot! What is that? It's going to be four! It's just a square cut, I think, or a square drive. Got to get around that. What is this shot that we've played? We've moved nowhere! Look at the feet! Feet have gone nowhere, we've just gone away with it. It's the square drive. The first time it's come out. Great boundary, 16 off 10. Again on the wide line, but it's too full. In the extra cover gap, four more. Gee, Tao is not having a good time here today. Just a bit of a floater, really. And yeah, right in the wheelhouse for me. We're off to an absolute fly here. One for 69. Once again, these sort of green wickets, they look green. They definitely don't play green, though. Well, it's hard to play green when I guess you've got spinners. Extra cover. Extra cover. Oh, oi! Oi! Oh my gosh. If I got run out like that, I would be fuming. Here we go. Ash just goes to look like he's going to run around it. And then the old, oh, thank you. I'm going to pick that one up backwards, swap hands, and nearly chuck the stumps down. We're building a nice partnership. In fact, we've, whoa, we're flying away early doors here in this game. Yep. Flicked away fine. Didn't think I was going to get it that fine, but I have. And it's four. 50 partnership as well brought up between myself and Arnie. Flying away to begin this game. Puli light. Ashish. Fast bowler. He's never got us out. Now I'm just going to pull it away. It's actually in the gap. Unbelievably. It might get there. Oh, and it does too. That's crazy work. We've caught up. We've, we've, we've surpassed Arnie. I can't believe it. Oh, no. And as soon as we surpass Arnie, he goes. Ashish picks him up. Puli light. Lilo Kali to the crease. Leo Mech. He's got us out before. That's a great shot through the covers, though. That would be hard to stop, and it isn't stopped. And that brings up the 100 for a worry in this one-day match. Can we get our maiden one-day 100 today? We've got a lot of time to bat as well. Oh, stand and deliver. Just a punch through the covers. Four more runs. 48 off 28 balls. You just wouldn't read about it, this sort of innings from me. Not normally. That's cut away in the gap. I was going to say it could be two. And I'm going to come back for it. Diving. Oh, a direct hit had me. But I bring up a record fast 50 of 29 balls. Seven fours. 
Well, I just can't believe it, really. I really can't. As we look to try and get the captaincy from our current captain. And that is a great shot through the covers against Jack straight away with a boundary. Good. Get around that. Gone. Double gone as well. Double wicket. Kali gone. Bowled by Tao. And then Vital gets Nigel Amir Tiga Morea. LBW for 4 of 4. We're now 4th of 139. We were in a good position, but not to be. We were 2 for 134, but we've lost 2 for 5, which I guess is not too bad. There's definitely been worse collapses than that, but that's somewhat of a collapse, though. Dabbed away. Flicked away in the gap. Could be four. It's running away. Oh, he slides to stop it and it's four. Good stuff. Gone. That's a full toss and I've gone for it and it's out of here. And it is well and truly out of here as well. How far did that go? We don't even know how far that went. It was so far. Goodness gracious. That was a hit. Sent it, Martin Guttel style, out of the ground. Oh my goodness me. It's not going to tell me, but I'm going to guess that was like probably a good 100, I reckon. Just even if it was off the bottom of the bat, the bat speed to get through the ball just sent it. Look at this. Where does this land? So after some ball tracking, there you go. Look, you can see the ball going past the tree and into the hill. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was a big hit. Over the car park, over the tree, massive six. Patrick Habib returns to the attack. Victor Forey into the attack. Easy, easily worked away. Moved to 76. I think this is our highest score in the one day format as well. Habib bowling his ninth, he's absolutely cooked, which means it's gonna be ultra slow. Oh, worked away, pass mid on, it's gonna be four. Oh, I just cannot believe it. Just in the gap. 50 partnership as well. Wowee. We are going along at an ultra quick pace. And, uh, well, the team's doing quite well today. We've got to get around it. Habib stands on the ball, then picks it up. Hang on a second. Look at old Tao here, who seems to react to that. He, he reacts by trying to get back in his crease, which is, in other words, out of his crease. And then tries to get back in by sliding backwards, but then he pushes his bat out again. Okay, don't know how that works, but it does. I guess I gotta probably bat like outside leg to even like hit it. Oh, it's gone for four, has it? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I didn't even mean for it to go for four, but it has gone for four more. Would you believe it? Yep. Flicked away, it could be four more. I'm just timing him that well at the moment. Oh, this could be tight. Not really. Good running. There'll be two. 200 up for Wurry as well after 34.5 overs. Afu Jack into the attack. 13 overs remaining in the, the innings. It is time to up the ante. Yep. One. Through Tao's legs. We need Tao to just keep going the way he's going. We need to be here at the death. That's the main thing. Patrick Habib returns for his last. There we go. We're into the 90s with that as well. Winds it up. Thank you. Ben Warwick will wind up the arm as we're into the last 10. Oh, you're kidding me. No, into the 90s. What is that? Give me a short one. It's gone nowhere. It's gone underground. Oh, I've got to raise my bat for 90. You are kidding me. We will look at this again for sure here. As Hyola Raka comes out with an average of 8.5. I was just looking forward to the death overs as well. And he's given me a short one. It's bounced halfway down. Look at this. And has not got... I mean, in all fairness, I've played a million years too early. Look at me go. And, uh... Doesn't make for great viewing, does it? Oh, unbelievable. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at the big eye here. What's this? Oh, that's a joke. All right, the innings is complete. And, in fact, the match is complete. But we'll go through the innings first. We got 90 off 73. Out in the nervous 90s. For the first time. To be fair, it was an absolute grubber of a ball. It just completely skidded through from three quarters of the pitch down. You get that. We are out for 90 off 73. Tao made 80, not out of 87. Very good stuff from our MVP, Vi22. Tao took five, did he? Five for 56. We were nine down for 294. So we weren't even all out, which is also a good scene for that. Forey bowled well in his two overs. And Ashish two for 49. Habib none for 58. But gee, he was expensive with extras, that's for sure. Chasing 295. East Tamaki were all out for 164. What a win. Look at that. Finn Sampson off is just 16. 
Vital made 59 of 85. Ashish made 30. But in the end, victorious by a massive margin. Tied 2 for 34, 3 for 39 from Atkinson again. He's, he's come so far in his club cricket career for Wurry. 1 for 27 for Leo, the youngster. Good to see. Vi, 1 for 34. No one bowled badly, really. It was just crazy scenes, apart from... Kalista Tower took a little bit of tap, but in the end he managed to get 80 not out of 87 anyway with the bat, so it doesn't matter too much. Vital did get the player of the match for Pfeiffer and 59, and he still saw his team lose whopping margin of 130 runs. Crazy. We top scored in the whole match, and nonetheless, that is the one day game done. The first 50 over game of the season. We cannot get the 100 though, and once again, we have a bunch of stat upgrades and whatnot. Oh, we are seeing some movement, but it does say we're now 80 overall. Crazy stuff. At least it says 80 there, 79 there, so whichever you want to take, I guess. Long way off the Auckland Aces side. Okay, we are back in the running, it seems. Fourth on the runs at the moment. That will change once the other games come in, I assume. 126 average. Tau on the player of the series list. Atkinson with four wickets as well. Good to see. We want to get on that top score under that top performers. We want to get the top score. To be honest, that will be one of our goals moving forwards. We're going into the three-day match. We want to go big. It's the 13th as well of November. We want to stamp our authority. We want to make sure that the Auckland Aces side really, really want us moving forwards because they, we're a long way off now, which means... We are a chance. So without further ado, let us get into the next three-day match. We are here for the three-day match against Onihanga to open the three-day season in the Auckland Club Cricket Comp. You see, Leo Leo's actually into the lineup as well. Okay, very interesting stuff for the three-day stuff. And it's a very grassy wicket once again before the wickets start to flatten out across the middle rounds. Cohen has the coin. Onihanga called tails, and it is a heads. Where we win the toss, what are we going to do first? Hopefully have a cheeky bowl would be good. Oh gosh, he sent us into bat. Okay, I don't know what you've done, but uh, okay, thank you, Cone. I guess you know best because you're going to end up batting, but I guess there you go. We're going to be batting first. And we walk to the middle with 953 runs to our name in club cricket. Gee, because that's a few runs, has to be said. And we come in one for 38 after eight. Kara gets the court and bowl from Arnie, 20 of 25. Cone, 16, not out of 25. First ball of the three-day comp for me this season, no run. Not sure why they put the field out, but there we are. We we're off the mark. 101 overs left in the day. And Nathan Nelson, he's got us out twice. One of the few people to do so. Jeepers, he's going short straight away. Fair enough, mate. Oh, I tell you what, that's what he wants me to do. But that was falling in the slot. My eyes lit up and we went for it. Goes for four. First boundary. Cone averages 30 with a ton. Ahoy to Daniel, the medium bowler. No, we've got another medium. You have got to be taking the mickey. Oh, Lord, we are in trouble. Oh, no. Mediums are my absolute kryptonite, that's for sure. We want a big first innings lead, but again, we're going to have to do a lot of work. I mean, really, it's about the first full day and then trying to spend the next two days bowling them out. Pretty, A pretty nice strategy, really. Oh, worked it away. It should be four as well. We've got enough timing on it. Maybe with the lack of pace of his bowling, it won't get there, but it does, and it brings up the 50. Driven away. Into a gap, and I'm not even going to run because it's going to go for four. 15 off 23. But again, we want to be patient today. We want to bat the whole day. And I've had to block out a full toss as a result of that. It's probably the ball that was going to get me out, in fairness. Yeah, here we go. Driven away through extra cover. We'll run it, but it will go for four. Just keeping it simple today, and that's all we need to do. Oh, I tell you what, it's going to be wide. Smash it for four. Three runs. Thank you, Kanye Haro. Take those. Jordan Cuppy. Bat big and bat once is what they say. And again, I don't know why they have the field out, because I'm just going to milk singles all day. I can very easily do that, so not sure what they're doing here. Otama Maino. I've also noticed in this game, it's actually interesting how long it's taken me to notice, but there's no sight screens. Especially on this ground. Can you see there's no sight screen? Okay, interesting. I've actually made a change to the bowling speed, at least at least how fast it looks. So that 135 and onwards is a bit more quick. It comes onto the bat quicker, even though the, the actual speed in the game has not changed. It's just the... The ball looks quicker. 
There you go, see, it feels much more like it actually comes onto the bat, so that when they bowl 140, 145 plus, it actually feels super quick, as it should in the game. That is going to be it for today's Cricket 22 career mode episode, guys. If you did enjoy, then please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more content, hit the post notification bell, join my Discord, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now, everyone.